Well, Jen and Ben, in addition to hearing from the NAACP and that worker, we also heard from police and a representative from Amazon. Both say that site will remain closed until at least Monday as they continue their investigation. I enjoy coming to work and doing my job, but I don't enjoy experiencing racism on the job. Carlos Best, an iron worker on the Amazon construction site, is speaking out after he says he encountered racism at work. I personally uh, heard uh, racial remarks made only uh, about towards my people, but other, other races as well. It's not the only construction site that these things occur on. Uh, and it has to stop. Windsor police confirmed Thursday afternoon they discovered yet another noose inside the warehouse, the seventh so far. Officers say the rope was hanging over a beam on the fourth floor following a lunch break. The entire Windsor community is abhorred and sickened by these events uh, and that they're occurring. Uh, and we will not leave any stone unturned to identify the perpetrators. The first noose was reported on April 27th, and other ropes were found throughout the property a few days later. Ever since, the state's NAACP chapter and local lawmakers have been calling for a thorough investigation by Windsor Police, State Police, and the FBI. We're here to make sure that people are safe. We're making sure that the voices are heard and that this, this situation is dealt with in a professional, professional and adequate uh, way. We are going to keep pressing on Amazon, on Scannell, on everyone involved until there is resolution. We want the individuals apprehended. An Amazon representative also spoke during the conference. Hate, racism and discrimination have no place in our society and certainly are not tolerated in any Amazon workplace, whether under construction like the building here behind us or in our fully operational facilities. Police say they currently do not have any suspects, but will continue a full investigation while the site remains shut down until at least Monday. Amazon also announcing today they are adding $50,000 towards that reward for information leading to an arrest. That money is in addition to the money being offered by the property owner, bringing the total amount to $100,000. We're live in Windsor tonight. Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News. Zania,